So the story actually starts back in 2013. Um, my high school basketball team was facing off against another team and we were watching out the team warm up and there's this one kid in that team, this one dude with like a, like a mohawk and he was like the smallest in the team but by far the fastest, just hooning around it. And I was like, oh man, like sucks to suck whoever, whoever has to mark that guy. And um, my coach is looking around like, yeah, um, you're going to have to mark him. I'm like, me? What, me, dude? No way. He's going to cook me. He's like, good luck, bro. I'm like, dang. So pretty much what happened was I was marking this dude and he's just cooking me, breaking my ankles every 17 seconds, just dominating me. And um, I don't know, through that, sometimes guys have this thing, like through that, we'll just become friends. Like, bro, like respect. Like, you, I got to get on your level kind of thing. So we became friends through that. And that's my friend Ryan. And so he comes, um, he becomes important in the story later on. So anyway, um, about nine months ago, um, my girlfriend and her mom were talking about um, going to Japan together for a trip to see their family and stuff because my um, girlfriend's just half Japanese. And um, I was like to my, to my mom, I was talking to my mom, I was like, man, how cool would it be if I could um, propose to her in Japan? That'd be so cool. But it's just not realistic at this time because uh, right now I'm giving my all into music. So I'm working as little as possible just to be making as much music as possible. So, um, you know, I just work in the evenings doing Uber Eats and, you know, it's not glamorous, but it's for a purpose of me trying to make as much good music as I can. Cause you know, I want to make it like before I have kids and stuff like that. So, um, right now it's just that hustle time. And, um, I told my mum that a while ago. Fast forward, like, I don't know, six months or something. So my girlfriend's going to go to Japan in about three months' time now. Um, I'm talking to my friend Ryan that I mentioned at the start. And we're playing basketball. And um, he said, I've got something to ask you. I was like, you know, what's up? And he said, um, so my mum and I are going to Japan um, on these dates. I was like, oh, that's crazy. That's like the same kind of dates as... Um, my girlfriend and, and her mom. That's so cool. You guys could meet up. How, how cool would that be? It's like, yeah, the thing is actually my mom decided that she wants to give you the tickets, everything paid for. And my mind just blew. I was like, no way. First of all, I didn't believe it. I was like, no, no, no. So I called his mom. I was like, are you sure? Because this is crazy. And she's like, no, 100%. She's like almost tearing up and stuff. Like she's so happy about it. This is like really generous. It's like, you know, five, six, I don't know how many thousands of dollars it costs. And at this point, I still didn't even remember that I was planning, I had thought of proposing to my girlfriend in Japan in front of the granddad and stuff like that. Like I completely had, I completely forgot about it because it just seemed impossible. So my mind just put it away. Um, and then I was telling my mom about that. She's like, whoa, that's crazy. That, like, that just never happened. She's like, oh, now you can propose to uh, Marika, my girlfriend in Japan. How cool is that? I was like, oh, yeah, true. <laughs> but I hadn't got a ring or anything yet. And, you know, like I said, I'm just doing Uber Eats at nighttime, you know, sacrificing for music. So I really had no money. So I was like, okay. I just had to start grinding, 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 like just doing Uber Eats as much as I can to get a ring. Boom. Got it. And then, um, yeah, we're heading off to Japan. And it's just surreal because I'm getting all this for free. And I can't believe how blessed I am. And comes down to the day and it couldn't be more perfect like we're walking through my girlfriend's hometown where she grew up in Japan and it's like so small and so quaint and the only people that know I'm gonna do it uh is myself and my friend Ryan who I'm with um his mum and my mum um so her mum didn't know she didn't know her granddad didn't know no one knew and we're walking through her hometown going through like all her childhood memories going to these parks that she went to getting the same snacks and the you know, it was just so perfect. And the whole time I'm like almost tearing up because I just know that, you know, this day is so perfect already and it's just going to get even better um, because I'm going to propose to her. We've been dating at this point for um, it's like 12 years, 11 or 12 years, man, uh, a long time. Like it's about time we get married. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going through all the stuff. And I'm trying to meet up with the granddad, but he's quite old and He's on the phone with um, my girlfriend's mom and he keeps saying, he keeps saying like, oh, I'm too tired, I'm too tired. Uh, and she's like, no, come on, like, we've got to meet up. And I'm like, yeah, 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 we've got to meet up. Like, I, I really want to see you. Because <laughs> I was trying to propose in front of him because to him, marriage is so important. Like, he keeps asking, when are you getting married? When are you getting married? Uh, very traditional guy. And 
um, yeah, and he's like, he's like, why do you want to meet up? Kind of like he's kind of not suspicious, but he's just like wondering. Like it's so weird that they still want to meet up. It's kind of getting late now, and he said, I'm really tired. So uh, if you come to my house, we can hang out at the front of my house for like five minutes because <laughs> he's really tired. He's really old. Um, I was like, yo, yes, let's do it. And her mom's kind of suspicious, like, yo, why is he, why are you so trying to, like, see granddad? I'm like, ah, you know, he's old, I might not see him again, kind of thing. Um, and then, boom, we see him, and I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous. I've got the ring in my pocket, and we're walking up, and I place my phone down. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'll just put my bag down. With the trees blowing in the warm breeze on the riverbank, I'm forever thankful that you're in my life. Then I ask, would you be my wife? Jeez. Jeez. Bye. Will you marry me? Are you joking? <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> serious. <laughs> Hi. Now you got your cigar. Seriously. Um, secretly and film it and ask her and she says yes and the granddad's shocked and the mom's shocked and it's so beautiful my friend's there and he got some photos and stuff and man what a moment yeah what a moment such a blessing to have done that um and it just seems like like because this other thing has been kind of on my heart i've been like like kind of getting closer to god and stuff recently and i'm not sure about the whole thing like i'm trying to figure out if jesus is real you know it's like a it's like an ongoing battle for me like, cause, because I'm not just one to believe something just because it's in a book or believe it just because people tell me. I, I really need to find out for myself. Um, but I keep on having this feeling like, yo, get married, get married. You, you keep on clapping them forbidden cheeks, son. You, you know, I'm like, ah. And I'm like, man, really? It's that whole sex before marriage thing. Um, kind of like, I'm a conscious, you know. Um, and, and then this kind of just happened. And it seems like God made it happen. That's what it feels like to me. So I'm still figuring it out. But editing JKP, I forgot to emphasize like how kind of crazy it is that my friend happened to be going to Japan, to Japan at the same time as my girlfriend in the same place in Japan um, at the same time. And his mom also wanted to give me the, her, her tickets randomly. It's just like, it was just so random. It just happened. Like it just fell into place. I, I also, I forgot to mention the ring. I got was like a really nice ring and it was on like a crazy sale and like just uh, these things just fell into place you know um and so that's that's why I wanted to emphasize that more it's just kind of like kind of a bit more crazy than I thought anyway um back to the video but first my son is here hey Mickey <laughs> he is a big snotty boy ugh. yeah ugh Yo, editing Jacob V2, even though I'm not editing, I'm actually making breakfast after the video. Um, but I had the thought that also another important thing about why I think marriage is important is that, you know, you're making, you're committing to someone to make a solid foundation because you're choosing to, in the future, make a family with them. Um, and you want to put your best foot, both your best foot, feet forward, f creating a foundation for your children because that's so important. Like, so important. So if you can commit to each other on this high level, and create that foundation before you even have kids. Uh, that's very important. So yeah, and also out of respect to, um, you know, your partner. Like you saying, I love you so much. I want to be with you forever, and I want to, you know, proclaim it publicly, and um, you know, show you this commitment by actually, like you know, saying vows, getting rings, and making it an actual serious thing. Anyway, peace. Very exciting, very cool, um, on multiple levels, as you can tell. So, um, yeah, that's just an update. Um, and I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I thought I'd just give you an update. I haven't done this for a while. Like, I, I you know, I love connecting with you guys. And um, so I want to keep, you know, keep you updated on life things. And um, if you like these videos, you know, let me know. Um, because, I, I, you know, if I've got things to update you on, I want to update you. And I want to be like, you know, boys, you know what I'm saying? So just let me know. Um, lots of music on the way like making some some song some crazy songs and i'm just trying to you know put out as much as many songs as i can as the high with the highest quality i can and also focusing on like videos like short form videos i know it's it's the way that the world's going but i if i want to make it i want to put my music out there and yeah um so every like every share every comment 
sharing really helps the most I've found. Um, so if you can share any of my music, that'd be amazing. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching.